ครับครับเราไปกินอาหารที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ที่นี่ So she's just getting out of that. So she has a friend returning from overseas that is just getting out of the quarantine today, and she's going up to spend some time with the friend she hasn't seen in a long while. And the friend's children, I think, are going to be there anyway. I'm on my own today, but a lot to do. We got to replace the GoPro. Um, so maybe we'll go to Tucom try to do that. But they don't open till 11. So just a little walk and a little breakfast here at the Continental. Just getting a uh, con. I'm getting a continental breakfast at the Continental. I think that's fitting. That's the name of the restaurant, name of the breakfast. So um, we'll get that. We'll see what's doing and see if we can replace the GoPro and whatever else we can do today. It'll make my hand. So when I go into seven, we'll see what my temperature is. t h r e k a I need me. Last episode, V set off the temperature scanner with a high temperature and a big obnoxious alarm sound. That I was wondering what would happen with the low temperature. It's just a second annoying beep, and it says low. But anyway, I made it to too calm, and I guess anything to distract me from the inevitable, which is the shopping. Uh, I saw these. I've been seeing these around town. These big fat. Well, they're small, but they're fat tired uh, electric scooters. Uh, this one's got a suspension on it. This black one, the white one, not so much. And the headlights. Uh, there's your switch gear. I mean, kind of basic, rudimentary transportation. I guess you recharge it. I don't know much about these. These were at the DJI shop. They sell camera equipment and drones and and the like. But I don't know that they manufacture these. I think it's just kind of a point of sale for these. But look at that disc brake. These things, I don't know, they're kind of cute. Um, but I see one once in a while on the road. I see somebody trucking down the road in Patia, and one of these once in a while. Uh, so they're out there. No, so I asked the guy. I see the guy at the counter didn't even know how much they were. He had to call somebody, probably the supplier. And I think the black one was um, 18,000 b a h t So I don't know what's that about six hundred dollars, something like that. But I guess interesting. So we struck out at t u c o m The store I'm looking for is called Banana. Um, it's electronics stuff like that. They got one at Tucom, but it was all closed. So next attempt, Central Marina. If they don't have it, I can get Terminal 21. I don't believe there's a banana in Central Festival. At least Google says there isn't. But Google said the one at Tucom was open and they were clearly closed. So we'll see here. All over town today, trying to take care of this. 
So yeah, I don't come in this mall much because Terminal 21's practically right next door, but this is on the way there. And I, the, what I'm looking for is an older model GoPro. So I know not every store is going to have it, but I did see online that Banana had it. And I'm a I'm a loyal Banana customer. I bought a laptop from them, I don't know, about eight, nine months ago, something like that. So we'll see what they have in here and uh, see if they've got the older model GoPro. I'd rather not get the brand new model. I think it might be too confusing. Yeah, all they had is nines. I wanted a seven. I'll tell you later why I want a seven over a nine, but they do have one at Central Festival. She told me they have a banana at Central Festival. I didn't I didn't think they did, but they do. So we have two more two more stops to make, potentially. Yeah, the other thing is I believe they have some kind of point system there. They keep track of what you buy and you earn credit somehow. I don't know. So if I make a major purchase, I might as well go to that electronics uh, shop. But anyway, we went to Terminal 21 here, and they they're, they probably have camera stores here and everything, but there is a banana here, so we'll look for the banana first and see what other distractions I can find from uh, from completing my shopping. There's one over there. Look at this, Scamati. Scamodi? I'm not sure I'm saying that right. But these are a little bit of a rare breed here. It's a newish brand here in Thailand. Look at that, 179000 for that scooter. Now, for a scooter... Uh, that's a little on the high side, but uh, these are supposed to be, I've, I've heard two things. I heard they're all handmade. I heard another thing that says there's a factory in right around Pathi. I said, if there's a factory, that would be cool, a cool place for me to visit. But these are kind of modeled and styled after maybe a 60s uh, Lambretta type scooter. They're, they're very popular. Ties really seem to like them. They come in a 200cc and a 125cc variants. I think this is the top one here, this black one. I think that's a 200cc, maybe like a sport model. And that was the one for 179000 The 125, I think she said was 97 or 95 something like that. So uh, some of them are quite affordable. I like their logo there. It looks a little, looks a little Lamborghini-ish for whatever. I know it's not a bull, it's a panther, but just a the presentation of it maybe but these are really nice they had a really nice fit and finish on them and everything look look how shiny they are i mean chrome and the, the things that you don't normally see on a scooter after all a scooter is just basic transportation but these have a certain flair and style that uh, i think some people really warm up to and really like and it's a retro but a modern take on retro did i mention how much i enjoy shopping All distractions aside, we made it to the banana here in Terminal 21, and this young man was a big help. He checked the computer system. He said, there's no way I'm getting a, a GoPro 7. It is available online. So now I got a decision to make. I headed over to Dunkin' Donuts so I could collect my thoughts and call a friend. But nobody's got the 7. They only got the 9. Um, I, I had a friend with a 9. I just called him while I enjoy my coffee here. He kind of convinced me, he says it's pretty good. I thought there were some firmware issues with it when it was new, but it appears he really likes his. And even if I found a seven, they're 10,000 baht. The nine is on sale for 14,000 baht. So it's about 130, $135 more for a nine as opposed to a seven. So I guess I'll get the nine, but that's the dilemma. Everybody in town has the nine now. Nobody has the seven. You can order one from Lazada. I think it's a refurbished one. I don't know. I, I think for 10,000 baht, I'd rather go the extra four, even though that's the one I'm used to using. That's why I wanted it. I'm used to using that. I know how the color profiles are. I know how to set it up. I'm just comfortable with that. The nine, got to learn all over again. Probably a whole bunch of new stuff. But there's some cool accessories you can get with it, which might improve the quality of some of the footage. So. We'll see. I'm going to go back to Banana and see the girls at Banana. <laughs> After I finish my coffee, got to finish my coffee first. Came back to Banana, but I think everybody's on break. <laughs> anyway, there, there was a bunch of people here before with nothing to do. And I said, no, nah, I'm not ready to buy. And then I came back ready to buy. Everybody's on break. <laughs>
Anyway, we'll see. So while they're on break, I might as well take a break of my own here at Terminal 21. They have one of my favorite food courts upstairs, so I'll just mosey on up there and see what I can grab. This was a, a special. You get duck, you get pork, you get sesame noodles, vegetables, and a side order of shumai there. All that for 83 baht. Uh, what's that? I don't know. Less than $3. So that's a nice little lunch. And they called me while I was here, and they said they were back, and the, the store was back open. They were open, just the person that was helping me was on break. So went back, and they had me all set up here. Banana's a pretty good place to do business. I, I, I enjoy banana. But there you go. There's, there's the new guy, the Hero 9 Black, a brand new in the box. And he'll, uh, he'll ring it up for me. So they, they like to do this, show you on the on the calculator so keep in mind now so it's 13,999 I just said 14,000 to round it up but keep in mind when you shop here for something the taxes there's a there is a sales tax here I think it's I believe it's seven percent but that's in the price that you see where I'm from uh, where I've been lived before you you always have to kind of add that in your head as you're going up to the register because the price you see on the shelf may not be inclusive of whatever kind of sales tax VAT tax whatever so he uh he i had him open it make sure everything was in there and looks legit it seems like it is all brand new and that's what it looks like it's a little bit bigger than the other one just a tad bigger than the uh gopro 7 that i've been using uh but it's supposed to have more features oh and it has a front screen that's the other thing so that's all done you're all gonna miss the little seven though i really that's the camera that we, we went and saw so many places together uh We've been through a lot together, me and that little camera. <laughs> so, get a little emotionally attached. I know that sounds weird. But anyway, I guess we'll make some new memories with uh, the new one. We gotta go home and figure out how it works first. You go i started the day with a paperweight and i ended up with a brand new camera so I, i've got to get the settings dialed in right it's it's got a lot more settings and different modes and everything than than the other one also it doesn't have a case i think that's a little odd the old, old one had a case i used to have to take it in and out of the case the new one just uh no case it's already in its own case i guess just bolts right up to the helmet so anyway i'll, I'll get the uh all the all the settings and the color and everything dialed in over the next uh, couple shoots, I guess. The video I wanted to work on today that I was supposed to be working on today got, got well, postponed because of all this, this little snafu. So that will be on Tuesday. And that's got some, that's got some good and, and encouraging news in it, I think. And some other good and encouraging news, uh, just a day or two old, is the fact that the annual Songkran Festival here is now back up. They, they are going to have it. It's in the middle of April. Last year it was canceled. Uh, even most of the ties that I've spoken to over the last month or so all thought it was not going to happen this year. It was going to be canceled. But the latest news is it's back on, at least, at least in a controlled, uh, with, with some controlled guidelines. But uh, that's better than not having it at all. It's a kind of a party here. It's the big celebration. It's the big annual celebration here. So that's going to be coming up in April. And I think, uh, like I said, I've got some other news that maybe goes to show we've turned the corner here. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens with that. But for this one, uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it off right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.